I've got a review of an ultra niche oud fragrance. Let's see if it's worth it or not. Welcome back to my channel Intellectual Sense. My name is Dev Jyot. Now today I've got a review of a fragrance called Alhambra Oud from House of Ramon Monegal. Now this is a Spanish house and I haven't tested many fragrances from this particular house. Now I've bought this fragrance blindly. Reason I have bought this fragrance blindly is that I'm always looking for great oud blends. And like I've said, 90% of the fragrance in perfumery don't carry real oud. And the blends are all not never great. So let's see if this expensive blind board, which is about 275 pounds for 50 ml, if I have burned my hands again, or if I have found a hidden gem. Let's start with the presentation first. Now let's start with the presentation. I haven't got the box of it because I'm not rich enough to buy it, but I will put the photo of the box. In terms of uh, bottle, uh, the bottle, every bottle of, uh, of Ramon Monegal represent an inkwell. Uh, it's kind of in shape of an inkwell. Basically what they're saying is that the ingredients in every bottle gives you a different story. They can write a story through perfume, which is a very beautiful story in my opinion. Now in terms of bottle, it has got Alhambra Oud written on it and the logo of Ramon Monegal. The cap is magnetic. As you open it up, it's a magnetic cap. And if you turn the cap around, it shows that it's a Spanish house. Uh, it's based in Barcelona. It has uh, more than 100 years of pedigree. Uh, so it shows the how the big history Ramon Monegal has got. Uh, it has got 20% oil concentration in it. In terms of presentation, I have got nothing wrong to say about it. It's a perfect presentation, original presentation. The sprayer is excellent, beautiful sprayer. I love it. I will give it 10 out of 10. Now let's start with the review of this fragrance. Let me put a couple of sprays of it. Now, as soon as you spray the perfume, you smell a little bit of sweetness and along with oud. Now the oud is very natural out here. They have used uh, southeastern oud, which is the best oud profile with a bit of fruity touch to it. Uh, the fruity touch is coming from apple. It's quite evident, okay? And the balance is very good. It's neither very skanky, is neither very sweet because of the fruity accord of it. The balance is perfect. Now let's take a moment to talk about oud note. Now like I've said, oud note is most abused note in perfumery. 90% of the ouds which we get in western perfume are not actually oud. So in this case, it's a real oud. It's a 10% of it and that too of highest quality in my opinion. Now, in terms of sweetness, it stays uh, sweet for about 15 minutes and after that, it goes into the next phase, which is the floral phase. Now in this particular mid base, what I will say is that you smell a lot of jasmine and you smell rose. Now I was checking few of the reviewers who have reviewed it. There are not many reviews of this particular fragrance and everyone kept saying it's rose and oud combination. It is, however, it's more jasmine and oud combination, not rose. Rose is kind of like on a tinge. Uh, jasmine is more prominent along with oud. And also the oud which they have used, they have used several different varieties of oud. Like, like if you know oud, the oud in Thailand is different than oud in Cambodia and oud in, uh, in India is different than oud in Sri Lanka, for example. So they have used several three varieties of oud in this particular fragrance. Now, this particular oud is very unisex oud. Now, if I have to give you kind of where it stands, I will say Tom Ford oud wood. That's an entry level oud in Western perfumery. And then we have something called George of Luxor, which is like a very skanky oud, very harsh oud, very masculine oud. Now, Alhambra oud sits right in between. It has got the balance to it. And like I've sa said several times on this channel, perfumery is all about balance. It's getting the balance right. You don't want too much oud in it. You don't want too less oud in it. You want except like balance to it. And this is what it gives to you, balance. Now, in the third phase, uh, of this particular perfume, you smell the most masculine side of it. Like the opening was more fruity, the base, uh, middle part is uh, more floral. The base is like Hindi profile oud. Actually, they have not used Hindi oud. It's Southeastern oud along with the birch note, which is giving it a Hindi oud profile. The most 
a masculine of all the wood profile in my opinion i absolutely loved it i was totally blown over by it because look at the blending of it in one perfume they have given three layers to this particular perfume which is amazing in my opinion so let's talk about the lasting of this particular perfume now with 20 percent uh, oil concentration actually more than 20 percent oil concentration this perfume lasts very well on skin it can last around 10 hours and on clothes guaranteed more than 20 hours so it's lasting is very good now in terms of weather the weather i think the perfect weather to wear is fall and winter but it's a very versatile fragrance you can wear it on cool summer night also so it's kind of an all year fragrance i will say uh, for an occasion uh, in terms of occasion i will say that uh, it's a kind of a special occasion fragrance um, i will say it's not a very casual fragrance uh, you should not be wearing this particular fragrance in office or something like that but so special occasion fragrance for sure uh, and it's a unisex fragrance i believe with the floral and the fruity touch to it even a woman can wear this particular oud so any woman out there who's looking to wear an oud fragrance this is a perfect blend to wear it and definitely guys can also wear it i i wear it a lot it's one of my favorite oud fragrances so let's see if i will recommend this fragrance or not now so do i recommend this particular fragrance uh, now considering that it's a very expensive fragrance 275 pounds for 50 ml uh, it's not easy to recommend those kind of fragrance but oud in hands of western blenders it becomes very expensive that's how it is uh, uh, that's how it works because oud itself is a very expensive note and then western perfumers the best perfumers when they are blending it the price will become very high so I recommend this fragrance to the people who are looking for great oud blend and they have got the money to do it. Now if you haven't got the money to buy this particular fragrance, you can get a sample, you can get a decant and then try this particular fragrance. You don't have to buy a full bottle of it. In India, Sentido, uh, which is a perfumery store, carries this particular house. So I would recommend you if you have got a Sentido store uh, in front of you in your city, uh, you can go and test this particular fragrance. If you like it, you can you know, buy the bottle of it. If That's up to you. So I hope you enjoyed this particular review. And if you're liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Cheers.